So, I've had about seven people ask me to do Tina S. Dragon Force Through the Fire and Flames. Tina S. Excuse me, guitar cover. Good lord, she looks... She looks like a complete 180 from what she looks like now after disappearing for seven years. Of course, I didn't know who she was before until one of y'all recommended her to me. So, I'm going to check this out and uh, I'll let y'all know how I feel about it. Let's see why, let's see why a 15 year old girl got 30 million views for just playing the cover version of some song with, with a guitar. Let's see how good she is to amass such a huge following. God darn. You saw the way she was just looking around in the beginning? It's that's how you know she's been doing that for years. That was she it's effortless. People like that um, that can do this and sing at the same time amaze me, man. Like she's hardly even looking at the the guitar. God damn! She's killing it. She's crazy good. And they just got the vocals going, right? And she's just like, she's doing the guitar by herself. That is crazy talent for her to just be able to just be looking around with her. A nonchalant expression on her face. That's how you know you are, you've are you mastered a skill set. When it's so effortless that it's like, it's like breathing. It just flows like water. This reminds me of a quote I saved. That um, I really, I really love this quote. This is my 2023 quote. It's amateurs do it until they get it right. Professionals do it until they can't get it wrong. So Tina S, based off the skill level I'm seeing right here, she is a professional. She is a professional at playing the guitar. not even good that's disgusting that is absolutely ridiculous it's disgusting
see why she's built such a strong cult-like following with only 16 videos. This makes perfect sense. Especially if she's reposted this like on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, like multiple different platforms and it went super viral everywhere else. I can see why it carried over, you know, it carried on over the years while she was missing. Because you just don't, you don't see talent like that every day. It reminds me of a sermon. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll let it, I will let it play the rest of the way through after this. Um, reminds me of what this, this guy did with a sermon yesterday. He said that um, very, very, most people are average, right? Um, most people can be above average. But he was like, fewer, few people um, do what it takes to be above average. Fewer people... Do what it takes to be a star. Few, even fewer people do what it takes to be a superstar. But like, it's extremely rare for somebody to get to like the highest level that separates you from most of society. And that's when you're legendary. I feel like, uh, I mean, I haven't really dived that deep into her cover catalog or music catalog, whichever one she has more of. But, um, this is, um, I would, I would think this is superstar legendary type level talent right here. You can agree with me or you can disagree with me, but, um, that's how I feel. That's my opinion. She's not even looking at it. That is just, that's just nasty, man. That is, that is ridiculous. Do you see her face? Look at her. That's her when she's playing it like that. Just looking at it like, huh? Oh, oh this, this is just an everyday thing. That's how you can tell she's been she been doing this since she was like a little girl. Like uh she probably been playing the guitar since she was like five. That don't make no sense, man. She's not even looking at it. I know I've said that a million times, but she's not even looking at it!
God dang, man. Grandma, Grandpa, Ma, Dad, whoever's listening, Cousin, Bro, that was insane. I have never, I don't even think Jimi Hendrix could play the guitar like that. That's a second gen, that's a second generation female version of Jimi Hendrix. Except it's a little bit more ridiculous. Of course, I ain't never heard Jimi Hendrix play before. That's one thing I need to look up. I need to look up how Jimi Hendrix played. I've never heard him play before. All I know is that most people considered him one of the greatest guitar guitarists to, to ever live. That or greatest black guitarist to ever live. I, I don't know which one it was. I haven't really done my in-depth research on Jimi Hendrix. But... Um, Tina S, if she's not already there, she's definitely on her way to being as much of a legend as, J as Jimmy, if not already there. If I, I mean, I usually write songs, but one out of ten, that was the, that was one thousand. One out of ten, that was one thousand. That was, that was amazing. There's lots of words I could use to describe how good that was, but like. They haven't, they haven't made, even made a word yet to describe how good that is. It's nasty. Appreciate you guys for recommending that one. Um, it definitely heightened my appreciation for people that can play instruments and talk and sing at the same time. Which is mind-blowing to me. I mean, I've, pro I've produced tracks for 10 years. And I've songwritten for 10 years. I already had a respect for that craft, but like, I've never, I might have played an instrument, like a certain sound so I could sample it and make it into a beat, but as far as actually like play playing an instrument, I have not developed, there must be a broken spring in this bed or something, I have not developed that skills, a skill set that even pales in comparison to, to talent like that. 
Tina S is definitely dope, and I will definitely be looking into more of her stuff. If you're new here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you don't know who I am or what I do here, make sure you go to the front of my page and check out my welcome video. Um, I'll, I'll break everything down for you there if you're if you're not subscribed. So um, before you subscribe, watch that welcome video first, and you, you'll understand what I do here. But I uh, hope you guys have a good Labor Day weekend, and um, thanks again for that recommendation, and I'll see you later. Peace.